guys obviously don't want to lose to NFC. But does anybody, does the pressure kind of mount? It's been four in a row now, and um, you know we're getting into a potentially historic situation here. If you guys lost another one, is that does that kind of resonate with anybody? Or does anybody kind of stand up and say enough? <coughs> enough you know? To be honest, I didn't really think of that. I don't really know that it's our, it's like historic or something like that. But we want to win, obviously, every game. And against our rival, we obviously want to win big because they beat us at least four times. Past four times we played them. So it's just a game that we want to win, pretty much. Does it hurt more being an L.A. guy to lose to SC? Um, it always sucks to lose to your rival, but a loss is a loss. You have to move on, deal with it, and just try to prepare for next game. When you look back, hindsight being 2020, Obviously, the last game was a lot of turnovers. Mm -hmm. Why have they been able to win four straight? You're talking about last, SC, oh, SC. against you guys. Oh, you know, last game, we did have a lot of turnovers. <coughs> Second half, I felt like we took care of business and kept our turnovers down, which put us in the game at the end. But I don't know. We just didn't play well that game. So hopefully, next game we play them here, we'll get our shots flying and We'll just keep take care of the wall pretty much. When you guys lost it at home to Arizona, coach said mm -hmm. maybe a little blessing in disguise, but maybe a wake up call. In the second half against Oregon, how well you guys played defensively. Do you feel you guys are there? Is a long way to go? How do you feel defensively? Uh, we're not there yet. There is a long way we can go. I feel like we got to pick up on defense. Obviously, everybody knows that, and our offense is going to be there. So if we can guard, we can win pretty much every game we play. But yeah. that's just the key. We have to guard. We keep people at least under 70, 65 points. So that's what we have to do. How do you feel like you guys match up with them athletically? They looked pretty fast in the first matchup, and part of that might have been because they were out transition so much off those turnovers. I think we match up well. You know, I think we have length. They have they have great length as well. But a lot of their points did come off turnovers, which were obviously our mistakes. So that helped them get out to early lead. So, I mean, if we take care of the ball, we should be okay. Can you express also, obviously, you guys are playing very well since the last USC loss. You know, you guys had a players meeting. Did, did that in any way, that meeting change it, or what did change how well you guys are playing? Yeah, the meeting definitely helped. You know, the USC game kind of woke us up, you know, uh, put it back in place. You know, we've been playing better basketball ever since. Not, not very often, man. I know this is your first year. You've only lost to them once, but collectively, this program is not used to losing to them four straight. Does that come up in conversation? Um, yeah, but you know, once again, we're not going to live in the past. You know, we dropped one up there. We got to get one here. You guys getting mad about the? I know you're like you said, you're only here for one. But is anybody getting mad? Like, man, we can't lose to these guys again. Uh, I wouldn't say it's being mad. You know, we just know that we have to come here and get a win. You know, the fans are going to be here supporting. We got to put on show. That first game, 17 turnovers, that's not really like you guys. Yeah. Um, what do you think happened uh, You know, it's like I said, that's my fault. You know, I'm a, I'm a point guard. I didn't figure out the defense early enough. I think I had about like 10 turnovers or something like that. But, um, you know, I can't really love it. Did you ever consider USC at all? To going to uh, no, not really. No, I used to like them all. Because, you know, a coach infield is all about, you know, running gun type stuff. Yeah. Um, so that, that wasn't really a, something that you would look at? No, they, that could be offered me, but, you know. How do you feel like they match up with you guys athletically as a team? Yeah, they're a very athletic team, you know, one through five. But um, it's going to be a fun game. In your earlier days at uh, Chino, did you play against Benny Boatwright at all? Or, or I actually that? played with him. Did you? Know, you? Yeah, we played together in Drew League, him and uh, Shemezi also. Okay. So, you know, I, I know a lot of guys on that team, and um, they're a great group of kids. So, take me on the court when that happens. When you know, you clearly know their tendencies, you know their strengths, you know their weaknesses. You could almost overanalyze, or do you want to overanalyze? I'm just going to try to do what I can to help my team win. I know they're going to do what they can to help their team win. Hopefully, you know, my team will be on top at the end of the day. As, as a man who played with Benny, though, speak to what, because he's been out most of the season. Yeah. What what does he bring them? He's a great talent. You know, anybody that's 6'10, sport a ball like that, that size, you know, he always can help. So uh, I think they got better with him coming back. How much did the coaches or, or even like Corey talk to you from an analytic standpoint about some of the longer threes that you take? Um, you know, as long as they're going in, they don't really care. So as long as the percentages is fine, they're not going to really say too much. Did you anticipate when you came here that, that you might have to be more conservative with you know, some of those longer shots when you're making decisions about? Uh, not really. You know, Coach Alfred always been on my side from day one. And he makes it very easy for me to play. That's good, too, obviously. Is, it, is my right? Does that give you confidence to take that? Most definitely. Three? Anytime you have your coach, you know, not putting any chains on you, telling you you gotta do this, you gotta do that. As long as you can just go out there and play, you know, that benefits my game tremendously. Yeah.
you guys have faced the zone a couple times since USC game. How have you guys improved in that part of the game? Yeah, just bringing it into practice. You know, uh, beginning of the season we were getting manned a lot. Now we're getting zone as of lately. So, you know, just keep working at it every day and getting better. You had a couple games last week. We didn't get to ask you about your brother's 92 points. Uh, what did you think of that? Uh, that's just mellow being mellow. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, though. People here 92. I went out there. That, that young girl had, you know, had a, a heart issue. A lot of people didn't know that. I'm sure you knew that family. What was your reaction that your younger brother would step up for that great of a cause? I was just proud. You know, he knew that if um, he went off that game, you know, he'd get a lot of recognition for her. You know, not just himself. And um, you know, I'm just, I just credit him for putting her first and uh, going out there and getting those points to get a recognition. A lot of you guys have played against a lot of their guys since fifth grade, you yeah. know, to a degree. When you're out there Saturday night, is it knowing a, 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 an opponent's tendencies, knowing their personality, or just sit, trying to say it's another game? I think you can definitely tie in certain things because, yeah, you do have experience playing with them. You know certain things about them, what they like, what they don't like. Uh, just, yeah, kind of tendencies like you were saying. But, but yeah, at the same time, just about doing what you do and not getting overwhelmed and doing to predict what they're going to do instead of just uh, trying to play your game and do what you know you can do. And, yeah, just play hard, do it from the hand. So. You got off to a really good hot start uh, at USC, then they went to a zone. Is there anything that you can do uh, against that zone? Yeah, definitely. I think as a center, uh, Center of forwards, they will see that flash in the middle, get the ball there, and then because that draws so much attention there and just creates open uh, open spots around the court for guards to uh, find shots or open lanes to the basket. So, yeah, I think that's one thing that uh, I didn't do very well in the first game, stack the center of the zone. So, if they do run that 2 3 zone, I'm sure they will be much more uh, capable and ready to handle it this time around. You mentioned them stretching the floor. As, as the big men, what do you and TJ do to kind of respond to that and attack that? I think it's just being quick defensively because typically uh, guys like that are really good at, at taking pop situations where they can set a ball screen out. You have to help on the guard coming off it, and then you have to get back to your man who's usually open for a three at that time. So just being able to cut off that drive from the basket and be able to get that quick close out to a guy like that because he really can't shoot the ball. Atmosphere. That Oregon atmosphere was not the chart. Yeah. From your standpoint, when it's USC, UCLA, Paul Pavilion, Saturday night, two teams that are hot, describe what it's like. You get nervous, you get feed off the energy. Describe what it's like playing non-basketball. It's incredible. It really is hard to describe, though. I think. I mean, it's 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 interesting because it is packed, and you do feel the energy. But at the same time, you kind of almost block it out, and just that you don't really tell that the crowd is there. You know that collectively they are, but as individuals, they aren't. It's just, it really is surreal. It's such a fun thing, and yeah, I mean, that's going to be a great game. I mean, it is an incredible rivalry to play here Saturday night. It's going to be, it's going to be insane. Uh, I think we're. Gonna be doing everything we can this week to get ready, and we'll be ready for a fight. So it'll be fun. Good, sir. Thanks, guys.